All right, folks, welcome back to the garden. Uh, welcome back to the channel. It's Nate with KBL Texas Homestead, and thank you for stopping by and checking us out. Today, we're going to be in the garden, and as you can see, I've got our uh, corn stalks behind me. This is our little corn area in the garden that we're growing corn this year, and uh, we're going to show you in this video how to self propagate your corn. So, I've seen a lot of videos. Uh, there's a lot of people uh, that are talking about their corn and that they grow great, they get tall, they get big, then the tassels come out, but it never produces any fruit, it never produces any corn. And so when you plant corn in big fields, you have an abundance of corn and pollination that can happen. The wind you can see the stalks blowing behind me. The wind blows the stalks and they ruffle and bang up against each other. The pollen falls down and pollinates the, uh, the ears where your corn's gonna be growing. It pollinates it. And that's what we're gonna show you today in this video. We're gonna show you how to self-pollinate to maximize your production of corn and how many corn develop and get uh, pollinated and grow for you so that way when it comes time to harvest you had plenty of corn right we grow gardens for production for produce uh, not to grow beautiful plants though some people do beautiful plant gardening and and you know they're great to look at and all that I love them I do gardening flowers myself my wife does it uh, but in the vegetable garden, we want vegetables. We want to supply food for the homestead, and we don't want to grow pretty plants. We want to grow edible vegetables. They're not always pretty, but they're edible. So let's dive into it, and I'll show you what we're talking about. Okay, so here we go, folks. I've got these corn in front of me, and the first thing we're going to talk about is the tassels. So these here are the tassels. And this is where all your pollen comes from. These little pods, they start getting broke open by the bees, by the wind, and they have pollen in it. So I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up here in the camera, but you can see all the pollen on these leaves. They're all, it's all over here, and it's all from these tassels. These are the first things that are going to emerge out of your corn stalks. This is what you're going to see first. You're going to get excited. If you've never planted corn before, you're going to get excited and it's going to look like the corn. It's going to look like the um, that's the fruit because it comes out of the leaf and it's all together before it opens up like this and it just you're thinking, "Oh yeah, there's my corn. There's my corn." And then this happens and you're like, "Oh no." What happened? Is it flowering? Is it going to seed? Did I do something wrong? You didn't do nothing wrong. This is just part of the process. So the corn, you know, they're self-pollinators. They have both male and female. And so this is your male that emerges first. These are your tassels. This is what's going to create the fertilization. Then you have to move down to the tassels. To the, I'm sorry, these are the tassels. You have to move down to the silks. And the silks are actually where your corn grows. So let me get you down here to show you that. Okay, so now that we're down here lower on the plant, you can see these right here. These are your silks. Try to keep all this out of the way of y'all, but these are the silks. So this is actually where the ear of the corn is gonna grow. And you can see this one's already starting to form. Each one of these fibers, each one of these silks are attached to one individual corn kernel on the cob. So therefore, that's why you have all these silks. See, I never knew what these were for or why it had it. But this is what catches all the pollen and pollinates your corn. And these, you can't see, I'll try to get a close up here in a minute, but I can actually see a lot of pollen built up on these silks so that's a good thing but this is what pollinates or carries the pollen to your corn so that way it'll grow 
and like I said, each one of these silks is connected to an individual kernel on your cob. And I'm sorry about that sun, guys. It just come out real bright on me. But this particular corn stalk, we have two sets of silks. So we might get two ears off of it, hopefully. Now this one, it's got a bunch of little fibers on it. It doesn't really have as much pollen built up on it. But I'm going to show you how we make sure it gets pollinated so you ensure that you get your produce okay so let's uh carry on and i'll show you how we do that all right folks and one other thing i want to show you real quick so on these tassels you can see this is where all your pollination happens like i was talking about this gets a lot of pollen hopefully I can find a good leaf here. We can pull up close. Yeah, there you go. So look at all the pollen buildup on this leaf. And you can actually see the the pods where the pollen has broken up and fallen out of. The bees come in here, open it all up, the wind shakes it, but there's just pollen all over these leaves. Now the issue is the pollen it's falling from here and then you've got all these leaves from this stalk from the adjoining stalks the adjacent stalks and then the silks are way down here and so there's a lot of obstruction before that pollen can actually make it to those silks though it does happen you can better your chances by self-pollinating so let's go back to this tassel here this tassel looks like a regular tassel it's yellow uh, i planted a golden yellow corn sweet corn so that's what i was expecting but if you can see the color differentiation in this tassel this one's actually got a reddish tint to it i don't know if it's picking it up with that sky in the background but it's actually got a very red tint to it. So I don't know if that's a different variety of corn or if that's just sometimes how they do. But I'll show you, I've got another one here. And you can just see the red tint to it. It's not all yellow. But you follow that stalk down from that tassel And it also has red silk. And the silks on this are red. So I'm wondering if that is just a different type of corn that got mixed in with seed. I'm not sure, but I will update y'all and show y'all that once we go to harvest these and break them open, what that looks like. Because I'm very excited and interested about that. Because I've got a few of them in here. Uh, there was one there we've got another one back here somewhere where's the red tassel right back here you can see the red silk back in there we've got red silks if we move on over this way this one is not as vibrant but you can see the red silks back there next to the blonde silks or the yellow silks and so i am very interested to see what that produces and how those come out but let's get to the pollinating let me show you how we do it okay folks so again like i talked about a minute ago these here are the uh, tassels and what you're wanting to do these tassels carry all the pollen and i was trying to get some video of the bees and the pollinators at work because they're getting all the pollen off of these right now and carrying them off but what you want to do is find one that has relatively been broke open like this one and you want to break it off Let's see if you can see that you can pick that up but this is your tassel and all the pollen are in these pods on the tassel and as they get broke open the pollen is released and it starts coming out onto your uh, onto your plant so what you want to do is take one of these tassels and come down here to where the silks are forming. 
and you use it just like a paintbrush. You take that tassel and just rub it on all the silk. And what this is doing is getting all the pollen from this tassel onto these silks and ensuring that they are being pollinated. So that way you have good production on your corn. You make sure that these ears form good cobs and not just beautiful plants. Now we'll go down here to this next one and grab this one as well. Like I said earlier, we're lucky this one here has two uh, ears on it. It's two sets of silks, so we're going to try to get two ears out of this one stalk and maximize our corn production. But all you want to do is just rub it. You don't have to be gentle. You, you take it to it. Paint it on there. Make sure that pollen is getting to it. And if you feel like you've lost all the pollen off of your tassel, just come up here and break another one off and uh, do it again. And what you want to do, typically, you want to start from one end, break a couple of tassels off, and then use them to uh, pollinate the silks from one side and work your way all the way to the other side. And then the next day, you start from the opposite side, break off a couple of silks and use those, I mean, break off a couple of, of uh, how to, how to bring apart, tassels. You wanna start on the opposite side, break off a couple of tassels, and start from the opposite side and work your way back to the first side you started on. This helps ensure that you've got everything pollinated. And depending on how big your rows are, you can start from the middle and work your way out one day. So typically when your tassels start forming, it's going to be a week later or within that week that your silks start forming. And when your silks come out, that's when you want to start pollinating. And you want to do this for about a week or as long as you have tassels with pollen on them to uh, greater your chances of making sure they're pollinated and having a good corn production. So again, you want to do this on a daily, every day, then the pollen just does not come off of these tassels as good and it doesn't spread as well. So you want to make sure that the morning dew is gone, it is very dry, it hadn't rained, and then you start your pollination process and just work through trying to make sure you capture all the silks, get them all pollinated, and you do that as many times as you can in a week, and I can almost guarantee you, you will have great corn production. Alright, so I got to get to it, I got to do my uh, morning pollination, let me get all these pollinated. And then uh, I'll get back with you. Hoping to get a good production out of this we're going to be using the corn here on the homestead for uh for different stuff for eating uh barbecuing out we'll, we'll throw some on the grill we're gonna try our hand at uh saving some for seed for next year and then we'll see what we have left over we'll have some hopefully for uh the animals um as well so we're gonna try to maximize our use of the corn um but first we got to get it to produce and the kernels are looking uh, not the kernels but the stalks the ears of corn are actually developing looking pretty good so we think we are gonna be uh, we're gonna be good and we should have a bountiful harvest so hopefully when we go to harvest these we'll be able to shoot a video and I'll show y'all in succession what we get so again Nathan from KBL Texas Homestead thanks for watching make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell Remember, till next time.